Welcome back to beautiful Jamaica. It's trim and tone time, and now it's time to hit the spot. Arms, chest, and shoulders. So get your weights, and let's begin our workout. This is all for the upper part of the body. Let's begin by using the bicep muscles. A slight lunge and down. Alternate your legs so you're getting a little thigh work with the arms. Now notice there are two important things to remember on this exercise. The bicep curl should have your elbows close to your body. Slower is better. More muscle work, not momentum, so you're not cheating. Really use the muscle and keep your back straight. That's very important. That's it, down and up. Use those biceps, come on. So you have those nice, firm, toned arms. You want shape, you want definition in your arms, sleek, sexy arms. Well, here's a great exercise. That's right, you'll firm it up. Show some definition to that arm. Yeah. Couple more. Really use your legs too. Push off. Last one. Good. Now hold it. Little lifts. Little lifts. Now let me tell you a few little tips here too. Don't hold your weight so hard. Let them just rest in your hand. Okay? Stomach is in and back is straight. Really use the biceps. That's it. Just hold it there. Stomach in. Elbows close to your body. Firming up those arms, those chest in the shoulder area. That's it, hold it up there. You're doing great, I'm proud of you. Just a few more bicep curls and you've done it. Last one, all the way up and release. Legs apart and let's now work on the upper back. This is called upright rows, try these. These are great for the upper shoulders. No more bra overhang. I know it sounds kind of funny the way I say that, but it's the only place I can really describe that you're targeting. Hit that spot, upper back. Yes, good. Pull your elbows up to a B. Up to that B, that's right. Pull it up, great. Lift and lower. Now for those of you that don't have weights, don't worry, just go inside your cabinet, grab a couple of those cans of soups, put one in each hand, and you're doing it with me, firming and toning. So guess what? There's no more excuses. Don't say I can't do that because I don't have weight. Yes, you do. It's right there in your own house. Good. Couple more. Really lift. Lower. Lift. Higher. Let me see that B with your elbows. That's it. Good. Higher. You got it. Last one. Hold it up. Good. Now we're going to do what I call our radial lateral raises. Here we go. This is working on the outside of your arms, the shoulder blades. Yes, that's it. Shoulder pads. We'll make them ourselves right here. You won't need to wear those shoulder pads. You're doing it yourself. Good. This is an excellent exercise for those shoulders. So they're nice and firm. And they give a wide look to your upper part of the body, making your waistline look smaller. Yes. Taper down to a V. That's it. Two more. One. Two. Take a breather. Turn to the side. We're now going to do triceps raises. Ready? Lift and lower. This is working the tricep muscle underneath the arm. No more underarm flab, no more underarm sag. Both elbows up and press. Using those arm muscles. That's right. This is one of the most underused muscles of the body. So we have to target this area and do this exercise to firm it up. That's right. Really lift those elbows up, release, up, release. Good, lift them higher, really high, come on. That's great, two more. Last one. Now hold it up, hold it up, hold it up. Isometric hold. Okay, you wiggle it out a little. Shake those arms, you'd be great. Now we're gonna work on the chest, okay? The chest, the pectoral muscles, ready? Lift and press, lift and press. This is working right here, the pectoral muscles. Right there, ready? And press, lift and press. Let me see those muscles. Make a cleavage, yes. This will make your muscle give you a cleavage. That's right. The muscles underneath the breast are called infermen underneath your chest. They're called the pectorals, and they give that uplifted look. That's right, not saggy or in. Good. Not concave, but lifted. They also help to improve your posture. Good, good pectoral. Squeeze. Squeeze. Come on, muscles. 
work. Come on. Best way to shape them is to firm them and tone them. Two more. One more. Down and up. Okay, little scissors. Little scissors. That's it. Firm up the chest. Zero in and hit the spot. The chest. We must, we must build our bust. That's what we used to say when we were kids. Back in school, in the gym. Okay. Firm it up. Firm chest. That's it. Smile. Gonna reshape that body. Firm, strong, toned. And for us women, firm and feminine muscles. Long and lean. Two more. One, two. Okay, take a breather now. Just take a breather. Now we're gonna do some lateral raises in the front. Try these. Lift and load. Alternate your arms. This is great for the front of those arms. Yes. Also helps the chest area. Good. Lift and lower. Lift and lower. That's it. Notice my elbows are slightly bent and slightly rounded. That's important. You really start to work on all these muscles. Firm it up. That's it. Is your back straight? Is your tummy in? Good. That's where I want it. Keeping it firm. Strong. Stomach in. That's it. Tuck it under. Lift and lower. Up and down. You're doing great. Just keep it up. Yes, keep it up. Relax your fingers now. No white knuckles. Don't squeeze those weights so hard. It hurts. The exercise is not in the hands. It's for the arms, the chest, and our shoulders right now. This is called an exercise for the medial lateral deltoid. Right here, the medial deltoid, right there. It's a great muscle to burn. This is what's really going to make you have those sleek arms. Two more. One. And two. Okay, overhead presses. Ready? Press. Down. Press. Down. Press. That's it. Great. Really use your arms. Use them. You're doing great. Press. Good. Press. Use it. This is for the whole upper body. This is worth it. Hit those spots. The arms, the chest, the shoulders. Yes. Two more. Come on. One. Two. Good, now hold it down. Good, just circle, circle. Now the hard part's over. Let's place our weights right down to the floor or on your Denise Austin stand, either place. Inhale up. The hard part's over, aren't you happy? Yes! Okay, let's stretch those arms. Hold onto the elbow and stretch across. That's it. Hold that stretch. This is great for the middle part of the arm. Releases the tension out of the neck, out of the shoulder blades. That's right. Beautiful. To the other side, use the other arm. Stretch it, stretch. Oh, it feels so good. That's it. Beautiful. Oh, hold that stretch, breathe. And relax. Now one arm comes up, hold onto your elbow, and give yourself a pat on the back for doing so well today. Hold that shoulder stretch. This is also stretching the triceps all along here. That's right. Hold it up. I'm so proud of you. You did it. This is a great stretch. Use those muscles. Relax. Under the other arm. Arm up. Bend it over and stretch it back. Give yourself another pat on the back. You did great today. stretch. Breathe while you stretch. <sighs> Never hold your breath while you're exercising. And slowly relax. Now clasp your hands behind you. Lift them up and over. Up, up, up. Look up at the beautiful sky, your ceiling. Stretch and open up your chest. Oh, that feels so good. This is a great one to improve your posture. If you're ever at the office and you feel tension or at the desk, so good and bring it forward stretch out your back stretch out your back oh that feels good okay lift up your body let's stretch to the side you did great today oh it feels so good to really get a good stretch after your muscle toning exercise lift up and over to the other side hold the stretch beautiful oh feels 
so proud of you that you did this with me. It feels good, and it will make you look better. Improve that attitude of yours. Yes. Up, all the way up. And let's circle the arms. Just relax the arm. Circle, circle all the way back. Circle. Beautiful. That's it. You did great. I'm proud of you. Wonderful workout. Inhale up. And exhale down. <laughs>